Well, it's nearly been a month since the first day of school and coastal Bend districts continue fighting to keep COVID-19 numbers under control. Well, one of them is Gregory Portland ISD. Sunrise reporter Victoria Badrama joins us in studio with a look at what it's like there as most students get the hang again of in-person learning. Good morning. Good morning, Sierra. Well, I visited GP Middle School in Portland back in August for its first day of school, and I got a look at what the classrooms look like now with students back in the classroom instead of at home in front of the screen. And one science teacher tells me he came back this year despite the challenges of teaching during a pandemic. At GPISD, face masks are optional, and in Robert Levin Saylor science class, students are socially distanced at least three feet to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. He teaches science, and he's a really good teacher, and he's super funny. Mr. Levin Saylor, or as they call him, Mr. L, has been teaching event science in the district for 14 years, but this is his first year at GP Middle School. He says the return to in-person learning means there's a lot more work for everyone. We have a, a middle row there of some kids that are, that are like single because some kids just want to sit by themselves. GP Middle School is a new school in the district and this year classrooms have changed and interaction with students is not exactly the same as past years. Kids hadn't seen the school, the inside of school in almost two years. So it was an adjustment. Students and staff say they are adjusting to a new normal. GPISD communications officer Crystal Mattern says the district has been able to keep its COVID-19 case count low by looking for symptoms as students enter the building and pulling those students aside to be tested by the school nurse. All of our nurses at the different campuses do have rapid testing available in our schools. And so our staff can come at any time and request to be tested. Mattern says the school year has been off to a great start thanks to the staff's support. Our team has really gone above and beyond to help make sure everything is sanitized, to help make sure students certainly are identified quickly if they have symptoms. And despite the challenges for students and teachers coming back to additional safety measures, Levin Saylor says he continues to try to keep students engaged in the classroom. In the end, it's all about the kids. Aside from reporting COVID-19 symptoms and social distancing, students say Mr. L makes learning science a fun experience. You're not like stuck at home, all bored, and then you're in an actual classroom and it's way more funner. Yeah, I bet it's a lot more fun. And Mr. Levin Saylor tells me he plans to continue his career in education and hopes to keep making a difference in these young students' lives. Reporting live in the studio, Victoria Valderrama, Chris Six Sunrise. Sierra, back to you. Great feature. Thank you, Victoria.